Okay, project number two. Project number two, solderless terminations. So no solder, we put the solder away. Now, what I want is a terminal lug. The terminal lugs are all sized uh, with, with using a color code. The color code here, if I look, it's red. And red is, uh, in this case, 18 to 22 gauge. And I can also see that stamped on the back of the terminal lug. That's the first question new students have. What size wire can I put in this, gate, uh, this terminal lug? Well, first of all, it's red. It's going to be 18 to 22. But also, it is stamped on the outside. 18 to 22, I'm going to use 20 gauge wire. Simply strip it. And when you strip the wire, again, you, don't, you want to have, you want to slowly twist and pull. And you want to, uh, just like you did with the pre-insulated crimps, these have the same markings as a pre-insulated crimp. You have a ring about, uh, not quite in the middle of the terminal lug sleeve. In the middle of the terminal lug sleeve, or almost quite the terminal lug sleeve, that is where you want the crimp to pinch onto the insulation itself. That's the dividing point between crimping on the stranded wire and crimping on the insulation. Now when I look at this, I stripped it a little too long because I want the insulation to lay right on that ring. And then I want the wires to barely protrude through the end of the, 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 the red sleeve itself. It's a little too long. I need to give it a little haircut. And I'm going to recheck it. I'm going to lay it on top. I can see where the insulation lays and it's going to barely protrude out. That's what I want. So now that I know that's the right length, I'm going to set that down. Again, I'm right-handed, so I grab this with my right hand and I take the keeper. The keeper will hold the terminal lug facing down. So I stick the terminal lug in there against the wire stop. That keeper also acts like a wire stop. However, you still have to manipulate it a bit. Because remember, I have two teeth. The outer tooth will pinch the insulation. The inner tooth is going to pinch the bare wire. So I need to set that up. I'm going to eyeball right. And it's going to want to, it's going to, want to move around on it. You've got to look through the red into the metal and where those teeth are going to lay. And that looks just right. One tooth is on the insulation. One tooth is on the wire. I'm going to stick my wire in. Don't trust the wire stop. If I trust the wire stop, I'm going way too far. I'm going to pull it back until my wire is just even with the end of the red sleeve. Now I'm going to pinch down. Once you got it, squeezer. And then you check it. I can see the wires barely protruding from the terminal. I'm going to flip her over and I'm going to see two crimps. One crimp on the wire itself, one crimp on the insulation. That's what you want. You want the stress, the crimp to pinch onto that insulation and that's going to transfer the pressure on the insulation, not on the wire strands themselves. So I got my two crimps, I give it the old pull test, and we are good to go.